The Windows 11 HDR calibration app works pretty well in the same way as the Xbox and PlayStation version, just on supported games. And that is the important part. It will just work on supported games. Let's call them HDRG compliant games. Not quite happy with this title, but that's how it is. And yeah, unfortunately, we don't have many of them. But the fact that we now have the HDR calibration app also on the PC is a very good sign because in the future, hopefully, we will see more games which are supporting this great feature because setting up HDR with the HDR calibration app on the PC, Xbox or PlayStation 5 is so much easier. And now it's about time to take a closer look on the HDR calibration app in Windows 11 or on Windows 11. So there's no Windows 10 version, by the way. So you need to upgrade to Windows 11. And by the way, after the latest update, 22H2, I think it's the last feature update, I actually can recommend to install Windows 11 because I haven't had any problems so far. But now let's take a closer look. Before you can use the app for the very first time, you have to download it from the Microsoft Store. Just search for Windows HDR calibration, but keep in mind, this app is just working with Windows 11 and the latest feature updates. There is no Windows 10 version. And here we are with the HDR calibration app on Windows 11. And when you press get started, you get the first test screen, which is the minimum luminance. And I would recommend to set this to zero, the same as on the Xbox and PlayStation. The next test screen is called maximum luminance. And the maximum luminance, what you can use in Windows 11 right now, is 2800 candela. And if you have a TV with HDRG support, then setting up the first test screen is very simple. Just increase the brightness until you can't see the cross anymore. In the case of my LG G2, it's exactly 1000 candela. But if your TV does not support HDRG, then don't follow the instruction on the screen because as you can see, right now my setting is already 1000, but you can still see the cross. I would need to increase this to over 2000 candela to get rid of the cross, which of course is completely wrong. In this case, make sure you know the exact maximum peak brightness from your TV and just ignore this window, just use the value on the bottom and then you're good to go. And the same counts for the next test screen and the last one with HDRG supported TVs. It is very simple to set this up, but as soon your TV is doing some tone mapping in the background, the value or the setting, if you would follow the instruction on the screen, would be terrible wrong. In this case, just find out what is the maximum peak brightness of your TV, ignore this window here and just follow the value on the bottom. And of course, I verified if the app is actually doing what it is supposed to do or if the values are actually correct. And the first thing what I've done is I calibrated the app for my LG CX with a maximum peak brightness of 800 candela. And then I started the game Deathloop Game Pass version on the PC and I went into the settings screen. And what I found is that the screen luminance was set to 800 candela by default. That means this game works perfectly with the Windows HDR app. The only downside is that brightness is standard 12, I think, and you have to set it to 25 to get actually the right maximum peak brightness on the screen. In this case for the LG CX 839 candela. And then I calibrated the app for my LG G2 with a maximum peak brightness of 1000 nits and I started the game again and this time I found 1000 candela set automatically from the game. So I didn't do anything here. The only thing what you have really to consider is brightness setting 25. Otherwise you would end up with a very bad maximum peak brightness. But if you set this up to 25 on the PC, you end up with 1026 candela for the LG G2. So you can see the app is actually doing what it is supposed to do at least in this loop. I will of course compare or verify a couple of games in the near future. I will focus a little bit more on PC gaming as well. But right now the HDR calibration app is just working as it should be. Okay, so what is my take on the Windows 11 app now? It's a great feature on supported games and that's a problem because we really don't have many of them. The same for Xbox and PlayStation four or five. There is not much actually. We have a couple of games. They are actually supporting this feature and HDR looks great and especially HDRG on a yeah, 
compatible TV like the LG G2 or the CX, it's just fantastic. But most of the time we still having yeah, HDR settings in the game. And the worst part is even our game supports the app, the system level calibration app. Sometimes we have additional settings in the game as well, which doesn't make sense at all. So there's a lot to do in my opinion for the developer to make this better actually to have a proper standard in the future because HDR is such a great feature and yeah right now sometimes just a big mess. Thank you very much for watching me. I see you guys next time. Bye.